Hello, so this question is the maze. And basically, uh, you're given a 2D array, and then there's a starting, and there's an ending, and then you can only move four different directions. And when you, uh, when you roll the ball, and this ball will only stop at a point where it hit the wall. So it will stop at this point, like when you go down. So when you go down, and then you will stop at this point, right? Now, uh, basically, like, uh, we need to find out, like, is this ball, uh, can, can this ball reach the, uh, reach the, uh, reach the destination? Alright, so, um, this question is a little bit easy using a breakfast search. So, just think about this. You need to know, like, uh, where you visit before. So, imagine you're rolling down, right? And then you have to know this cell is already visit, and this one no, because you can still roll it back, right? So this cell is still active. When you hit the wall like this, and then you will be able to know this cell does not uh, does not work, right? So, so I mean just I mean just imagine, like when you uh, when you hit the ball right right over here, right? You can actually have three different directions. Uh, one is go left, the other one is go right, and then one is go up, right? So you have to just push three different direction uh, to your queue. So you want to just make sure like how many uh, how many possible way you can actually go from here all the way to here. I mean something like this, right? So uh, basically, uh, this is going to be super easy. So I'm just start coding, and uh, you will be able to uh, understand. So uh, here, uh, here, uh, here we go. So, uh, so we start giving. Uh, I mean, we start initialize the n equal to mass dot length, and then we start giving the m equal to mass dot zero dot length, and then we need a boolean, which is called uh, visit, and then m by m. So, uh, we already know the st the first starting, uh, the first starting position, zero, and then star one is equal to true right so basically this is pretty much uh, the visit starting and also we need a queue and then we push uh, we only push uh, one d array so which is x and y uh, starting uh, this is x and y right so it's two uh, two uh, two index in array right so I'm gonna say queue in new linkless I'm gonna I'm gonna just offer the star into the queue right away right and then uh, what do you need uh, else you need a four different direction right so i'm gonna say direction new int and i'm gonna say negative zero and then positive zero and then and this is zero negative one 0 positive 1 All right so this is going to be what well, this is going to be uh, left this is going to be right this is going to be down and this is going to be up right so once I push the starting position I'm just going to keep traversing traversing until the queue, queue is empty so you need to keep traversing until the queue is empty right so you, you have to say well queue is not empty then you keep doing this right and then I need a current so uh, I was a cute apple, and basically um, you just keep pulling when you push, right? All right. So uh, I was uh, I will make uh, I will make a, a return if current is actually equal to the uh, destination. But I'm not going to code this part yet. I'm going to just keep traversing, keep finding uh, the possible way you can achieve to other. Uh, that's an uh, other point like like other cells uh, probably this is better to understand so I'm going to just try out the four different directions and then you will definitely get a new x and y so I'm going to say direction 0 plus the current 0 because when you pull out the uh, q.pull dot pull, right you push in the star so you are getting the star index 0 and then direction 0 which is this one this is going to be a new a uh, new x right and then you need a new y so exactly the same thing but different index all right now you have an x and y 
So you have to roll, right? So imagine you want to roll. Give me, give, give me one more second. So imagine you want to roll in down, right? So uh, at some point, right? You will definitely hit a wall, right? But in these cells, this is still uh, this one is still um, empty. So you want to go. Uh, you, so you want to go to this place, right? So at some point, we need to what decrement by one to come over here, right? So uh, once again, you need a what? You will be able to say well. So rolling x is what greater or equal to zero which is in the bound, right? And also y equal to, y equal to zero, and x is less than n, and y less than n, n. So look at this. If the, uh, if the, M, uh, okay, if the mass is empty, then, then represent zero, right? So mass at x and y, is actually equal to zero, right? Then you will just keep adding your direction, direction. All right, now when you uh, break out the value, uh, this is actually meant that like you are in the wall. So you need to decrement by one. So just decrement by one. All right, so now you are at this point, right? Now you are at this point. So you was, so, so you was here, uh, you was here, and then you decrement by one, so you got, uh, you got to this position, right? And then we need to check. Do I uh, do I visit or not, right? Because if I do, then I don't have to what uh, I don't have to add that to the queue, right? So if not visit, if not visit, I need to just add the uh, the the coordinate into the queue, right? So new int x and y, and then once I add it, and I can actually what well, I can actually just say visit I, uh, x and y equal to true, right? Okay, so you just keep pushing, 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 and then at some point when you pull, the current is definitely equal to destination, right? And then you have to know the current equal to that de de destination doesn't doesn't work. So you have to say index by index, current zero equal to destination zero, and also current index one equal to destination in this one so this is how it works so you'll return uh, so you'll return true uh, right over here and then you'll return false all right so i might have a typo but whatever so let me run it oh i don't have it all right all right so this is pretty much the solution and so uh, this is one uh one of the solution you can achieve using a prefer search. So let's talk about uh, time and space. So this is a space. This is a, uh, this is also a space, right? Boolean, Q, right? Space, space. So the worst case is going to be n by m, right? The number of space you generate for visits to the array Boolean. And uh, for the time, for the time, uh, this is actually well, the worst. The, the worst case is that you you stop at every single cell, right? So this is still all of n times n, and this is pretty much a solution. And don't worry about the uh, the inner for loop because it's only what well, it's only constant. All of four, right? Four is the integer, right? And you just I mean for the worst case, like you 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 stop at every single cell, right? So this is all of m times m for the time and space. So here's a quick note. And this is the solution, and I will talk to you later. Bye.